हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम नितिन शर्मा एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट माय एसक्यूएल इन नोड जेएस सो गाइस फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल द माय एसक्यूएल पैकेज इन नोड जेएस एंड देन हाउ सेकंड थिंग वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट माय एसक्यूएल डेटाबेस विद नोड जेएस एंड थर्ड थिंग वी विल डिस्कस दैट हाउ वी कैन इंसर्ट डेटा इन माय एसक्यूएल टेबल यूजिंग नोड जेएस and fourth thing we will discuss that how we can fetch data from mysql database table using node js and in the end we will discuss that how we can update data in mysql database table using node js so let's start so guys here is my sample code of node js you can see i have just required the express and i am just linked listening my node app on port that is 3000 i can check in browser as well So guys if you are new to the nodejs i will request you to go to my previous videos and watch them carefully just to check that how you can install the nodejs and how you can install the express then how you can create your first node app from scratch so now i will use mysql here so guys as we all know to install the mysql to use mysql we have a good package that is mysql So first thing what we have to do we have to just install the mysql package here so i will just stop my code run here then i will install the package that is command npm install mysql hyphen hyphen save it this command will install the mysql package into my node js project so it may take few seconds let's wait Yes, it has been installed successfully. So, guys, now MySQL package has installed in my Node app. So now I will use just to use any package in the Node JS. We have to require it first. So I will require the MySQL I just require. then i will pass all the configurations of my mysql database mysql package provide us a create connection function in which we have to pass all the configurations of our mysql database first thing we have to pass host name so i am using same host so that's why i will pass local host here and then i will pass user then username i am using local mysql so i will use root root is my password of my local P mysql database so next thing i have to pass password here then i have to pass database name so password i will pass that is root and database name i will create so i will check i think i have already created so guys i am using mysql with the zem server which provide us a php my admin just to use mysql database so firstly i will start my zem server so i will go to the zem server then i will start it so now Jam server has started, so it will allow me to access the PHP my admin. So I will access the PHP my admin. Yes. So guys, here I will create a new database. First step underscore MySQL. so i have created a database now i will create a table so i am just using users as a table so now first thing i will pass that is rack id i will use integer length i am given 11 and i will use as a primary key as we all know that primary key is very much necessary part of our database so now i will checking at a auto increment yes next thing i will take name i will change name as a worker and name can be of 50 characters only i am just taking it 
and default I will pass null. Then I will check experience and experience I will get in around 20. So press null. So now I will pass status. I'm just checking it enumerated type. So I will pass either zero or one in a status. It is zero means for the inactive record and one for the active. I'm just checking for the my convenience. Defaultly, I will take it as an active record. So I will save it. So now I have created my database that is first step underscore MySQL and table is users. So I will provide same configuration in my Node.js app. So I have just named my database as first app underscore MySQL. So now next thing what I have to do, I have to just connect the MySQL connection dot connect. So I have just connected it. I will save then I will run my node.js app. So I will run with the help of node mon. Yes, it has been run successfully. Now it's showing me an error. At the time of my spell connect, I think it's showing me error. So I will check what the error is. It is showing me that access denied for user root at the rate local host using password. Yes. So guys, I have passed the password root here, but I have set it my PHP admin with access of without password. So that's why it's showing me error. So I will remove the password from here. I will pass it a blank. So now I will check. I will rerun my program. Yes, server is running on port 3000. It means my MySQL database has connected successfully. So here I will see that it's working fine. So now as we have discussed, the first thing how we have discussed that how we can install the MySQL package in Node.js is done. And set, second thing we have discussed that connect MySQL database in Node.js is also done. So now guys we will discuss that how we can insert data in MySQL table using Node.js. So now we will create a root just to insert a data. Suppose I'm just copy the root. Yes. Now I will create. I will take add user. That is the root name. So now what I will do. I will just create a SQL command SQL query that insert into users set this is the field name name is equal to suppose Nitin Sarma and then second thing I will use experience so I will get a field name from here just for any typing mistake so experience is equal to 10 years and then status is equal to one so now I will save it so I have just created a normal SQL I'm just giving a name a more justified name add user SQL so now what I have to do I have to just use connection dot query then I have to pass a query here then I will call a callback function that is first parameter will be the error if any and second thing will be results whatever the output will be there of query so now I will execute the query so here I will see if error then it will throw error otherwise it will display the results it will display the results the result is this one and error is this one so it will show me the results if any success 
and in a case of an error it will show me the error so now next thing what i will do i will just request it and welcome to add user so i will go to the browser firstly i will check that my code has rerun or not yes i am using the nodemon guys so that's why my program gets rerun on every change of index.js so now i will go to the browser yes i will call the root root i have defined here just to add user that is add user so i will go to the browser again then i will pass a root add user and i will press enter so it is showing me just what i have displayed here but i will check the console for the any error or something yes server is running okay that was at the time of start but this is the result insert id 1 that one affected row is 1 it means one row has been affected and that row has been affected which is id 1 so guys it's working fine insert is working fine so we will verify in the mysql database table as well we will go yes in browser you i can see the record has been inserted here so next another record we will insert just to verify so i will just create a small changes nitya kumar sharma and chan years six months so i will just make a very small changes i will check yes it's already working then i will execute once again so i will check so uh, actually my code is not reflected code is more not reflected because of the node mon so i will read in my program so then it will reflect sometime node mon may not work so yes it has been executed once again so i will execute so it will install the updated data it will add the updated data here you can see so guys now we have all now discussed that how we can insert data in mysql database table using node.js so fourth thing we have to check that how we can fetch data from mysql database table using the node.js just to use what i will do i will just create another root i will just copy this one only here just to save time here users request response then here i will just use connection dot query i will define a query here select star from users then i will define a callback function with error and results first parameter will be error if will be any so now i will check if any error then it will just throw it otherwise it will show the result in console.log and in the last i will end the program response dot end response dot end welcome to users so now i will rerun my program once again because sometime it's not reflex so i will check so i will call the users root i have defined so it is showing me here welcome to users but in the console because i have just console the data so here guys you can see all the data here here is all the data you can see so we can easily get the data from mysql using node.js and then we can use this results this is the basically json array object we can use 
everywhere we want just to process the data so now this topic also completed so now in the end we will discuss that how we can update data in mysql database table using the node.js so guys i will create another route just to update data so i have created update user i have created a root so here what i will do i will just do the same thing once again i will just take it from here just for saving a time so here i will write only a update query update users set so as i have defined my rack id as a primary key so i will walk with primary key that is rack id so guys update user set set i will change the name is equal to setal saraswat where rack id is equal to i will check rack id from the query string request dot query as we all know that to get any parameter from the query string we have to use request dot query if you don't know then you can watch also my previous videos i have created a separate video for all the methods request dot query dot rack id so what it will do it will just update users set name is equal to sital saraswat where rack id is equal to whatever id i will pass if it will show me any error it will show me here and if it will show me the results so here i will this i will end the my root response search and user updated response so now i will check my node mon it has been not rerun i will rerun manually yes it is in rerun so i will go to the browser then i will hit this root so yes firstly i will not pass any id user updated response it has been displayed but yes here guys you can see that affected rows are zero because I have not passed the rack ID in the query string which I am checking here and it may take as a undefined or zero and in our table we don't have any record with the rack ID zero so it has not updated anything you can see yes nothing has been updated you can see here nothing is updated so now what I will do I will just pass the rack ID here in query string because I'm, I'm just checking it with request.query. Rack ID is equal to 1. Yes. So I will see. Yes. The name has been changed. Name has been updated. Also, we will see in the console that what response will be there. So, guys, here you can see that our update is also working. So this is also done. So guys, I hope you all understand that how we can use MySQL in Node.js. But still, if you have any problem with the MySQL in Node.js, then you can just put it in the comment box and I will get back to you soon. Thank you.